Good morning. Good Friday morning. Ooh, I hadn't talked yet this morning. <laughs> I guess I did talk to Chris a little bit when I went in there a little bit earlier. But that's been a little while. So it's been like a couple hours, hour and a half, something like that. Now, he didn't go back to sleep this morning. I did for a little bit. <laughs> but then I've been working on a horrible project. It's, uh, it's a death cleanup website. They clean up biohazards and after deaths and stuff it's like gross but it's kind of a little bit interesting because it's like never thought about who cleaned it up before <laughs> anyway so much for my weird projects right i got lots of weird projects that ain't even the worst i i did some of this one one time and i was like "Ooh, this is horrible this is the worst thing i ever had to write about and then i had a worse one and i won't even tell you what that was so, <laughs> so but it was not good anyway so uh, you just take what they hand you right because hey, they give then because it turns into green right you just got to do uh you just got to do what you what what you got on your plate, right? That's, that, and the thing is to find something to be thankful for. This morning I got up, I was like, I've got these six articles to write. I've got to get them done. They were actually due yesterday, like midnight. And I'm like, I'm just thankful that I have work. I am so thankful that God has provided a way for me to work from home so I can take care of Chris. I'm thankful for the, the aid job, which pays me, as as Kyrie says, for doing nothing paying because pays me for doing nothing extra <laughs> she translates that to pays me for doing nothing <laughs> Gigi gets paid for nothing <laughs> i wish that was true y'all can just send money for nothing i don't care you know, i'll take it <laughs> it's green right anyway but just being thankful in all of these things and so this morning i was i was actually thinking about uh all the different things that i've got going on including like this weekend i got uh, there's a little facility down here i just drove past the other day and called them and it some they they serve the underinsured with disabilities and things so i'm going to go tour it on sunday and just see i don't know may not even be anything i want to look at but uh that i don't want to really consider but at least i'll go look and it'll be it's, it's possible there's always something possible right so you know you you never know what a day's going to bring you never know how many i've already got a couple of assignments that's come in this morning real small ones but that's good i like the small ones because they don't take very long then i feel like i accomplished something right and i was thinking about that i was thinking about the the age i was thinking about some things i got to get done for chris i was thinking about food and where to order groceries there's just so many options you know you can i can go to the store sometimes i usually go to two stores you know i can order instacart i don't like that much anymore because i really like to go to the store or i can order uh imperfect foods i've just discovered imperfect foods that's a pretty cool deal and it's not too expensive so far i've only made one order actually i'd only bought the stuff that was really cheaper than i could get it in the store and, and so i'm exploring this and so here's my point we're juggling a lot of stuff. And I called this the world's greatest jugglers, right? Or did I just, I just called it great jugglers because when I take it over to YouTube, it won't take the little apostrophe. So I just called it great jugglers. We juggle a lot of stuff every day, right? We, we juggle our finances. We juggle relationships. We juggle with, we juggle our family situations and, and, and those relationships. We juggle our job and different all types of different things that can present the, 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 to us on the job, right? And and we juggle our bills, and we juggle our our eating, and we juggle our exercise, and there's a lot of stuff to get in 24 hours, and and where you have to, God made us have to sleep six of those hours. That's a fourth of it that we don't even get access to because we're sleeping, right? And I've actually been sleeping seven hours, just in case you wonder. My little thing, he told me I've done it ten days now. I've slept seven hours so, so you know and it's all this juggling and and we've got to we've just got to sort it all out and figure out how to get it all in and some days there's just not time for all of it some days like last night i was like i just can't do that other project i did this project and that's all that's all i got today and i just went to bed right and we so but there's all this juggling you know which which client do i want to keep <laughs> which one do i want to make the happiest and which one i want to make sure is happy and then which ones well, i don't know I'll just just let this one go or you know there's just so much juggling there's so many things you know have you ever seen a juggler and they they have at least three items 
two items isn't juggling, right? They've got at least three items. And then sometimes they get on a unicycle and they've got four or five, what, bowling pins or, or those little, little balls or, I don't know, I've seen them juggle rings, all kinds of crazy stuff, and they're riding a unicycle. I'm like, did you want to add insult to injury or something, right? I, you know, I don't, I can't even juggle. I've tried, I even tried with one hand just juggling two things. They say, that's how you learn. No, it always ends up on the floor. And sometimes it feels that way in life. But that's okay. We've got a lot of things to deal with. And God understands. He gets us jugglers. He does. Think about it. He juggles a lot. He not only juggles our lives, but look, think of all of, all of us. How many people he's had to take care of all these times? Of course, it's not a strain on him because he's God, right? But he's concerned about those things that, that concern us. He cares. And we can take all those things we're juggling and we can give each one to him. Well, you know, this morning I was praying about finances. I was, and, and you know, I, my thoughts most of the time just kind of become prayers. Okay, Lord, what do I do about these, this job? Do I need to tell this client, forget it? Or has this client apparently already told me, forget it, <laughs> without telling me specifically, what do I do? What, what I ask for wisdom in handling all the things I'm juggling, right? And so we, we, we ask for wisdom to, to handle our jobs. We can ask for wisdom to handle relationships, whether that's family, friends, or, or foreigners, <laughs> or whoever you have relationship, or relationships on all different levels with your boss, with your coworkers, with your those you're supervising. You know, there's so many different levels to so many different things. It can be so complex so fast. Well, I think David kind of felt this a little bit. Um, in Psalm 3, he said, Lord, how they have increased who trouble me. Many. Many, get that, many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say to me of me, there is no help for him in God. Now this is right after, according to the little subtitle here, this is while he's fleeing from Absalom, who's trying to take over his the country. Absalom has risen up, his own son has risen up against him. That's a horrible emotional state to be in. And, and David is crying out and saying, you know, I've got... I'm juggling a lot of stuff here. I'm trying to oversee a kingdom, and I'm trying to oversee the armies, and I'm trying to make sure my people have what they need, and, and, and now I'm, I'm having to run for my son because he's trying to, to steal all of this from me and trying to kill me, but God, you sent me here. He says, there's so many saying that I can't even find help in God. Have you ever felt that way? Have you ever felt like that, that people think, you don't even know how to trust God in your situation. I've actually been told that, I believe. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's okay. Just let it go water off a duck's back. But, you know, sometimes it can feel like like our our situations and our, our the, the, everything's so complex, right? And it can feel like we're just in that state of overwhelm. And there's many things that are troubling us. There's many things that are pressing in. There's many things we have to deal with emotionally, spiritually, financially, mentally, and I've, on all these different levels until we just feel like we're just juggling everything, just trying to survive, right? And so David goes on to say, is there even help? There, many are saying, I can't even find help in God. But listen to his next word, but... But you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. And this is one thing I love about David. He is open and raw and real with his emotions, his thoughts, his feelings. He dumps it all out there, but he always comes back and reminds himself, I see all of this stuff. I see all this stuff I'm juggling. I'm seeing all this stuff that's become so complex in my brain and in my life and on paper. And it's, it's all pressing in, but God is still my shield. God is still my glory. He is the one who lifts my head. He's the one. And when we look to him in the natural, we tend to look up when we're praying or we're talking to God, or I do around the house. Like, okay, are you there? You listening? <laughs> well, where did you go? Right? And so he's still the one that lifts our head. He's, he's that one that can help us change our attitude about our circumstances. But we got to want to first, right? He says, I cried. David said, I cried to the Lord with my voice. And he heard me from his holy hill. Man, that ought to bless you right there. 
just to know that when you cry to him, whether it's, you know, the, the religious circles will want to try to put some limits on it. Well, don't talk to God about this. Don't ever ask him why. Don't, don't phrase it that way. Make sure it fits in this guideline. No, God likes that heartfelt cry that ain't even got no words. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I hope you don't, but I bet you do. Sometimes there's just not words. It's just Ah, or it's just tears, but he understands the words behind our tears when we can't even get those words out of our heart and express our deepest feelings, right? I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his hill. He heard me from the throne of heaven. He heard me in the kingdom of God. Then, it, then listen to this. David says, I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord sustained me. I think he was juggling all these things. I got all these things in the kingdom. Then I got Absalom over here. Great. Add another pen and let's just keep juggling. He gave them all to God. He lay down and slept and God sustained him. Then he says, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me around about. But then he prays. Okay. That's his I will. I will not be afraid. Right. He says, Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God. Salvation belongs to the Lord. So if you're juggling a lot of stuff today, find a place where you can just put all of them in his hand, even for a second, even for just a minute. Just go, okay, God, you know what? You juggle them for a while and you give them back to me as I need them. Give them back to me when I don't, don't give me back the stuff I don't need, right? <laughs> so he says, but you, you juggle, God. Yeah, I, I can't handle this anymore. I, I feel like my enemies are increased. I feel like there's no help. I need something outside of myself, someone bigger than me to help me carry the just the day-to-day -day stuff we have to deal with these days, right? It's some crazy stuff we have to deal with from day to day. So today, just stop juggling and just lay it all at his feet and then say, I will not be afraid. You can make another declaration here. It's not in this psalm, but it's in many of the others. I will trust you. I will trust you for this day, God. I will trust you for this situation. And name that situation. I'm going to trust you with my son. I'm going to trust you with my daughter. Trust you with my husband, my, my, my spouse, my partner. I'm going to trust you with my family. I'm going to trust you with my finances. I'm going to trust you with my life. I will trust you. I will not be afraid. Why? Because... You are, remind yourself, you are my shield. Stop juggling. Let him do the juggling. Have a great day, you guys. Peace out. I'll see you tomorrow.